Hello class. Um, discuss ko for uh, this video is worksheet closing and twist and reversing and twist. Right? Okay. When we say worksheet, this is prepared to facilitate the preparation of adjusting entries, financial statements, and closing entries. It is prepared before the construction of financial statements and before the adjusting entries is entered in the journal and posted. Okay? So, this is the example of 10 column worksheet. Kung mapapansin ninyo, okay, um, dito nililista, wait lang, gamit tayo ng highlighter. Okay. Kung mapapansin nyo, okay, dito, okay, is company name or the heading which is we have the company name and the title, the worksheet and for the, okay, for the year ended December 31, ilalagay mo dyan yung date. Okay? And here is the account number. Okay, ilalagay na the account number dito. The account titles. And at the same time, at the first and second column, we have the unadjusted trial balance. Okay, ang gagawin mo dyan, isusulat mo yung unadjusted trial balance dito. Okay? So, unadjusted trial balance dito. And next, the third and fourth column, isulat naman natin, is the adjustment. Okay. Sinabi natin adjustments, ito yung sa ginagawa natin sa adjusting entries. We're in, di ba? Um, Nag-entry tayo sa adjusting entry or sa journal for adjusting entry. Tapos, dito natin ilalagay yung mga adjustments. Okay. For example, nag-adjust ka ng... Nag-adjust ka ng supplies, di ba? Magkakaroon ka ng debit, supplies, expense, credit, supplies. Kaya, tatapat mo doon. So, ilalagay mo siya dito, parang ipinupost mo siya dito. Kung credit yung supplies, so, i-credit mo yung supplies dito. Di ba? And, yon. So, ganun din. Debit mo yung supplies, expense. So, dito ginagawa, or dito mo nilalagay yung mga adjusting. Okay, yung mga in-adjust mo. Okay, adjustment. Next is adjusted trial balance. Ito naman yung from 5th and 6th column. We're in, di ba, may debit credit yan. Ito naman yung sa adjusted trial balance na, okay? Um, sinasama natin or after the adjustment is ina-adjust natin yung sa unadjusted papunta sa adjusted para makuha natin adjusted trial balance. And last, and next, or for the 7 and 8, is we have the income statement. We're in, ang nilalagay natin dito, ina-extend lang natin. Okay, for, di ba, nasa baba. Ina-extend natin yung, yung revenue sa credit, di ba? So, in-extend natin yung revenue and in-extend din natin yung expenses. Okay, guys? Sa, net, sa income statement ay revenue and expenses po ang pinag-uusapan natin dito. Okay? And next, pag sa balance sheet, ang ginagawa natin, in-extend lang natin yung assets, liabilities, di ba? In-extend natin yan papunta dito. And equity. Sa equity, ang in-extend lang natin is yung capital tsaka sa tsaka si withdrawal. Okay? Capital tsaka si withdrawal sa equity. Pero dito, the total assets and the total liabilities. So, yun yung 9 and 10 natin, si balance sheet. Okay? So, yan yung sa worksheet. Ngayon, sige, pag-usapan pa natin para mas, mala, para mas malinaw. So, this is the summary. Um, write the heading of the worksheet at the top of the paper with the following information. So, name of the business worksheet and for the year ended, December 31 or kung anong taon yan. So, yun yan. And next, copy the adjusted balance. Okay, trial balance as in the first pair of the debit and credit columns of the worksheet. So, yan yung unadjusted. And rule of the debit and credit columns and bring down the total. So, ibig sabihin, ibibring down mo yung total para makuha natin yung total debits are equal to the total credit. And next is, we enter the necessary adjusting entries in the column for adjustment. We identify each letter, includes or we identify each adjusting entry by a letter enclosed in parentheses for easy reference when journalizing the adjusting entries and locating errors. Okay? And after all adjustments are entered, the rule of two money columns and bring down the total double rule and double rule to the indicate that the total balance are balanced. And next one, the adjusted trial balance column is the total of the unadjusted trial balance in the adjustment column. So, total mo lang yun. So, if the amounts are both debit, add. Then, extend the amount to the debit columns. Some, procedure, some procedures, if both credit, so same, same procedures tayo pag credit. Pero if the amount is one debit in one credit, subtract the smaller from the bigger amount, then extend to the column of the bigger 
amount. So, ibig sabihin, pag same debit, dagdag. Pag same credit, dagdag. Pero pag magka, um, magkaiba, ibig sabihin, minus. Tapos, ilalagay mo kung sa, sa kung anong account yun, debit or credit, dun sa pinakamataas ang difference. Okay? Or larger amount. Okay? Or bigger amount. So, that's it. The next one, okay, add mo lang yun para makuha natin ang adjusted trial balance. And, sabi ko ka kanina, the adjusted trial balance is extended to the income statement and balance sheet column. So, ito po yun. Okay? So, adjusted account ang ginagamit natin. So, for income statement, revenue and expenses lang ang ginagamit. And for assets and liabilities, and capital for the balance sheet columns naman. Okay? So, yun naman yun. So, next tayo, pag dinagdag natin yung four columns, get the difference of the debit and credit sides of the income statement and the balance sheet. The difference of both should be equal, otherwise an error is committed. Ibig sabihin, kailangan pareho pag dinagdag natin. Okay? Pero paano po yun? Ito po yun pag dinagdag natin. So, ito po. If the credit total of the income statement, tingnan mo mabuti. Okay? Tingnan natin. If the if the credit total of the income statement is more than the debit total, the difference is net income. Guys, pag mas mataas daw yung credit or mas mataas daw yung credit kaysa sa debit under income statement, di ba? So, ibig sabihin daw noon ay net income. Pero, if the debit side is more than the credit side, the difference is net loss. Right? The difference below the smaller size rule and bring down the total for each of the money columns provided for the financial statement. The difference between the total income and, and should be exactly the same as the difference between the total balance of the balance sheet columns. Okay, example tayo. Okay? Um, yun natin. For example, okay, ito yung, ito yung total, for example. Nung before tayo mag-balance, ito po yun. 3,000 dito sa debit and 5,000 sa credit under income statement. Okay? And under sa balance sheet, kung mapapansin mo sa debit, ay 220,000 and 18,000 sa credit. Okay po ba yun? Okay. Mapapansin mo na mas mata sa income statement. Ah, bakit hindi balance? Yung difference kasi nila, okay, kung mapapansin mo, 5,000 dito, 3,000 dito. Saan yung mas mataas? Mas mataas si credit. Ibig sabihin, yung nawawala or yung difference nila ay net income po yun. Okay, 2,000. Okay? So, yun yung 2,000. Ganon din sa balance sheet, guys. Hindi rin magiging balance yan, di ba? So, may tinatawag tayong balancing figure. Sa balance sheet naman, kung mapansin mo, mas mataas si debit kaysa kay credit. Nangangahulugan, pag sa balance sheet na mas mataas ang debit, yun ay net income. Sa balance sheet ha, ang usapan. Pag sa income statement, kailangan ang mas mataas credit para ito ay maging net income. Okay? Sige. So, ibig sabihin, kung mapapansin mo, 20,000 minus 18,000, ang difference din ay 2,000. Na dapat 2,000 din. Kasi itong 2,000 dito, tsaka yung 2,000 dito, kailangan pareho yan. Pero magkaiba sila kung saan sila nakalagay. Okay? So, ito. Yung difference dito, kailangan pareho. So, 2,000 yung difference nila. Okay po ba yun na get? So, ulitin ko. Sa income statement, pag mas mataas si credit, ito ay income. Pero pag mas mataas si debit, ito ay loss. Okay? Sa balance sheet, baliktad. Pag mas mataas si debit, ito ay income. Pag mas mataas si credit, ito ay loss. Sa balance sheet, ito pag-uusapan natin. Okay? So, yun yung ating worksheet. So, next tayo is closing entries. Under closing entries, mahalaga, or dapat alam mo, ang 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 kwan nito sa closing entries ay, ang mnemonics natin dito ay, po, R, E, I and B. Okay, kung kilala mo si James Reed, di ba? So, anong R? R stands for revenue. E stands for expenses. I stands for income summary. And D stands for drawings or dividend. So, ito po yung pagkakasunod-sunod. Unang kinuclose natin ay revenue. Saan natin kinuclose? Sa income summary. Pangalawang kinuclose natin ay expenses. Saan kinuclose? Sa income summary. And pangatlo, kinuclose natin is si income summary. And pangapat na kinuclose or ang panghuling kinuclose ay si drawings. Okay? Si income summary at drawings ay kinuclose naman sa capital account. Okay? So sinabi natin, closing entry is the process of closing the nominal account in to transfer the balance to the capital account. Okay? 
after the closing entries are posted, all nominal accounts will be have a zero balance. Okay. Ano po ba yung nominal account? Nominal accounts or temporary accounts, ito po yung mga account na kung saan na zero po. Okay? Or nako-close po. So, ibig sabihin, ano po yung mga nako-close? Ang mga nako-close po ay mga nominal account. So, ano po yung mga nominal account? Ang mga nominal account, ang kasama lang dyan ay red, di ba? Or pati si income summary. Income summary, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, the revenue, expen expenses, income summary, and dividends or drawings are considered nominal accounts. Therefore, ito ay nazi-zero or nawawalan ng, ng halaga pagdating sa dulo kasi nako-close sila. Ang kabaliktaran or ang counterpart naman or opposite ng nominal account ay permanent account or real account. Pag sinabi natin real account or permanent account, ito naman yung mga account na hindi po nako-close. Okay? Asset liabilities, and capital account. Hindi po sila nakuklose. Okay? Note, only the balances of the nominal or temporary account need to be closed. The balance of the real or permanent account are carried over to another period since they are not be closed. To be closed, di ba? Okay. So, the step one, close the revenue account and transfer it to the balance of the income summary account. So, kung mapapansin mo, ito yung sinabi natin, ikinu-close muna natin si revenue account. So, paano natin ikinu-close? Ang normal balance ng revenue account is, ano, credit. Kaya kung gusto mo siyang bawasan or gusto mo siyang i-zero, kailangan i-debit mo siya. So, ibig sabihin, kung i-debit mo siya, okay, debit, Service e revenue income, or kung ano ba na revenue yan, i-debit mo lang yan, tapos i-credit natin si income summary. Okay? Next, na i-close. Diba sa James Reed? Ano yung R? Revenue. Next is the E, expenses. Close the expenses account and transfer individual balance to the income summary account. So kung maraming salary or maraming expenses yan, ganito po. I-credit mo lahat ng mga expenses. Sir, bakit credit? Kasi nga isasara mo, isi-zero mo siya. Ang normal balance ng expenses ay debit. Kaya kung tatanggalin mo siya, ikikredit mo siya. Kaya ang journal entry, debit. Income summary, and credit the expenses. Kung ano mga expenses yung mga yan. Okay? And next procedure is i-close mo naman yung ating income summary. Okay? For example, Dito ay income. Paano natin malalaman na income? Pag mas mataas si revenue kaysa kay expenses, ibig sabihin ito ay net income. Kaya kung net income, ibig sabihin ang income summary natin is mas mataas sa credit, di ba? Kaya kung mas mataas yung credit ng income summary natin, i-close natin yun by debiting income summary at kinu-close natin siya sa capital account. Okay? So, miss the capital. Kung debit, income summary, and credit, capital account, kung anong capital account ang gamit niya. For sole proprietorship, and at the same time, for partnership. Okay? Pag partnership, tsaka sole proprietorship, sa capital account, sinasara ang income summary. Pero, kapag corporation, ang income summary ay sinasara po natin sa retained earnings. Okay? So, Yan yung pangatlong sinasara, si income summary. And last na sinasara natin ay ang drawing account. Sa drawing account, ang ginagawa natin, sinasara din natin siya sa capital account under sole proprietorship at saka sa partnership. By paano? By debiting the capital account and crediting the drawing or the dividends account. Bakit po? Kasi ang dividends, normal balance debit, Kaya ibig sabihin, kung gusto mong bawasan, ikikredit mo po siya. Okay? Next. Ganun din yung gagawin natin. Si drawing, isasara natin sa capital account. Pero kapag ito ay um, <clears throat> corporation, sinasara natin ang dividends sa retained earnings. Okay? Next tayo, posting. Ganito po yung pagpo-post. Kunyari sa revenue, tingin ko mapapansin mo, di ba? Ang normal balance ng revenue natin ay 20,000. So, pag kinulose mo siya, 20,000. So, magiging value niya zero. Kaya ang closing, di ba? I-debit mo siya. Retain earnings, ang mangyayari, 
mapapansin mo si Lily na earnings natin may 20,000. Tapos kinlose mo, may nag-close tayo ng 5,000. Kaya, 15,000 na lang. Okay, so ganun po yung closing natin. Zinizero natin yung account ng revenue, expenses, tsaka drawings. Pati income summary, kailangan zero yun pagdating sa dulo. Kung mapapansin natin, sa post-closing trial balance, di ba kung mapapansin mo sa initial trial balance, ang haba-haba pa, sa post-closing trial balance is a trial balance which is prepared after the temporary or nominal account that some, um, such as revenue, expenses, and drawings have been closed. The account that are listed in this trial balance are only permanent or real account. Since temporary account are already closed, that is why it's also called as a balance sheet in a trial balance form. Okay, kaya tinatawag din siyang balance sheet in the trial balance form. Kasi kung mapapansin mo, okay, di ba? Umixi na. Okay, hanggang retain earnings na lang tayo. Okay, or hanggang hanggang capital na lang tayo kapag ito ay sole proprietorship. Di ba? So, wala, na ka, wala ka na makikita dyan na revenue, wala ka na makikita dyan na expenses, at wala ka na rin makikita dyan na drawings kung mapapansin mo, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, Lahat na lang na may amount ang nilalagay natin dito. Kasi yung revenue, expenses, and drawings natin is na zero na, na close na. Okay? So parang pinaiksi na natin siya dito. Maliwanag ba yun? So ibig sabihin, ang post-closing trial balance, ang mga kasama dito, ito yung mga tinatawag nating permanent or real account. Real or permanent account. Okay? So next topic tayo is reversing entries. Guys, sa reversing entries, ito lang yung tatandaan mo. Reversing entries are done at the beginning of the next accounting period. Okay guys, take note, at the beginning of the accounting period siya ginagawa to reverse the adjusting entries done in the previous accounting period. So ano ba yung reversing? Okay, from the word itself, literally, literal, inire-reverse natin yung adjusting kasi gusto natin maging uniform yung journal entry natin every nagbabayad tayo or every time na gusto nating or every time na may transaction tayo for example pasweldo gusto natin ganun parati ang journal entry natin kaya nire-reverse natin yung mga accruals pero before that ano ba yung mga nire-reverse natin take note of this guys ito lang po yung mga nire-reverse natin okay una we have the accrual of expenses pangalawa we have the accrual of income Mga at least the prepay, prepayment of expenses, pero ito ay expense method. Okay? Prepayment, dapat expense method. Yun yung nare-reverse. Pero pag prepayment asset method, hindi yung nare-reverse. Pre-collection, okay? Or income of income method naman yung ginamit niya. Ito yung mga unearned, pero income method yung ginagamit niya, nare-reverse yun. Ulitin ko, ang nare-reverse natin is yung accrual, tsaka expense method, tsaka income method. Other than that, wala na po. So, ibig sabihin, ang hindi mga nare-reverse ay mga, okay, yung setting up of ending inventory, provision of depreciation, hindi po yung nare-reverse, recognition of bad debt, hindi po rin yung nare-reverse, asset method for prepaid expenses, hindi po yung nare-reverse, and liability method for unearned revenue, hindi po yun nare-reverse. Kaya lang yung mga tatandaan nyo na mga hindi nare-reverse at mga nare-reverse. So, in determining whether a reversing entry would be need, needed, that any adjusting entry that creates a balance sheet account at the end of the preceding accounting period will be reversed at the beginning of the new accounting period. An assurance that the amount of expense is properly recognized in the period in which is incurred. Okay? So, next then, ang purpose din niya is an assurance that the amount of revenue is properly recognized in the period in which it is Earn. And lastly, transactions of the new accounting period can be made in the routine manner. 